Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 19th, 19th into the 20th. This is for all signs, but this is for her. This is for her. Of course, men can watch it, right? And I just did one for him, so tune into that one as well. It does. It's great for the women to watch, you know, that one as well, because it might give you a little bit of insight about what these men are going through. Anyway, and so this is this is good for the man to watch as well. So I just want to let you guys know I'm not accepting private readings at this time. It's over. It's done. I'm booked up until December 18th, and I will not be accepting private readings again until January 22nd. If you send me an email, I will not be responding to it because I am overbooked at this point, and I'm going to get caught up on those, and then I'm taking a break. So... Daily vibes for her, for her. What does she need to do? What does she need to hear? This is not a private reading. It does not have your name on it. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading isn't for you. If you don't believe in tarot readings, then kick rocks, please. Here we are. <clears throat> Justice, woo, yes, justice. There's been a lack of appreciation, a lack of respect. This woman has done a lot of healing. She may have transitioned because of this, but balance. I mean, these are both cards of balance. So we have a woman here that has regained some balance after being disrespected and unappreciated interesting could have been involved in a third party situation interesting transition oh yes this is a death card oh lack of communication blocked interesting Seven of Cups, a decision has been made. So we have a woman here that has made a decision to evolve, to heal, to transition, because this is a card of transition as well, to transition out of a situation. The devil, Ooh. taking back control, it's the devil reverse, oh yes. It's like this woman, she's released, the devil reverse is a release. She's made the decision to release, to take back control of her life, to release this toxic situation in which she was not appreciated and not respected. Congratulations. That is you doing the right things for yourself, deciding that I'm going to bring balance back to my life. And this is the decision as well. Absolutely, a decision has been made here to release something that wasn't love that's not love lack of communication lack of respect lack of togetherness that's not love five of cups and then moving on woo this woman this woman had uh stalled from moving on for quite some time hasn't she oh in the tower it's reversed though the men had this one upright. So you've avoided a much bigger disaster by releasing. And maybe that's his rude awakening because he got it upright. He's about to get a rude awakening. You've released? Is that what's happened? Unbelievable. I almost said the F word. I can't believe it. So, yep, yep, we have a woman here that has decided that I'm no longer in love. I'm no longer in love with this demon, with this devil, with this toxic situation. She has made the decision to transform, to transition out of this. She is acting with integrity and bringing balance and harmony and peace back to her life. This woman has done a lot of healing. The very first card is healing. 
and the decision has absolutely been made to break free, break that chain from this demon that did not... That, that whoever it was that she was chained to for so long didn't communicate, didn't compromise, didn't come together, didn't respect her, didn't didn't appreciate her. But now she's she's seeing it clearly. She's got all the facts and she's made the decision. That's not love. Here we have the death. It's over, it's done. Release. I mean, we have so much release here. The death is release. It looks as though she is beginning to realize that she has other opportunities. She may have some regrets. She may feel rejected, but she's trans she's transitioning out of this period. Moving on. Blocking. So this woman may, be, may have decided to block or stop communicating or stop moving in the direction of this person that never came back, never came around, didn't put in any effort. She may be deciding that she needs to totally block all communication block anyway she's moving on I don't think she's happy that she had to do that she doesn't look like she's too happy that she has to move to a new place but I think she knows that this what she knew knows that she has to stop waiting around for this and yeah, she's she's probably feeling a little discontent. I mean, if you take the look, take a look at her face, she's not too happy that she has to move on. But she's doing it anyway. She's going. She's going. And she may have blocked it for quite some time, but it looks like she has made the decision. The decision has been made here. The seven of cups. She's made the decision to break the chain. Because that's not love. No communication. No appreciation. That's not love. It looks like she's doing the right thing for herself. And because she's doing the right thing for herself, she will get the justice that she deserves. A new beginning. Endings bring new beginnings. So she is going to have a new beginning that has been blocked for quite some time because she needed to move on. You can't get that new beginning until you release. So we have a woman here that has finally released... And she's avoided a much bigger disaster by doing so. The universe didn't have to step in here because she took it into her own hands. Unfortunately, the man that didn't communicate is going to get this rude awakening. <laughs> he is. He's, he is. Because she's going to get the justice she deserves, which is a new beginning. No shit. Because she moved on, she swallowed her pride because the Five of Swords comes before the Six of Swords. She swallowed her pride and she's moving on. And because she has made the decision to do so, she is going to have a new beginning. She's done a lot of healing. She's made some compromises and she's bringing balance and harmony back to her life. There's no doubt. No doubt at all. She's made the decision. I'm not going to be involved in a third party situation. I'm not going to stay tied to somebody who doesn't appreciate me. That's not love. Third party situation isn't love. It's not. And now she has a new opportunity. So you have a new opportunity. Somebody wants you. You're probably going to receive a welcome message from somebody. Somebody's interested. Woo! Oh my God. 
for those women that have released and broken free, you have somebody coming in with an offer of love. I can't, I can't I'm telling you what. Congratulations. Your justice, like I said, you have a new beginning. Your justice is about to be served with a new suitor. Somebody whose cup is ready, available. Somebody's been watching you. Somebody's been waiting for that moment to make this offer. They've been waiting for you to release. And maybe, you know, they see that you've finally released your past. They see that you've finally broken free. And they're coming. You're gonna, you could receive a message of love anytime. Somebody's definitely interested in you. You have a major new beginning here with this death card. And it's because you broke free from this toxic situation. You moved on. You swallowed your pride. And now, <laughs> you're coming out of the darkness. You're, you're, you've seen the light and somebody is coming to, to your aid. This is freaking fantastic. When, once you realize that you're no longer a victim and you, don't, and you let go of that victim mentality, everything changes. You are the, the difficult period that you have been in is over. It's over. You're coming out of this difficulty. King of Cups. Oh my God. And it's a. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, you're going to receive an offer from somebody who has really good intentions and is full of love. You are receiving an offer of love and there is absolutely positively no doubt about it from a from a man or a masculine that has really good intentions and it's because you swallowed your pride and moved on from a toxic situation. Congratulations. The dark period that you have been through is over. It's done with the death card and this is the, coming out of the darkness. I'm telling you what, you have blocked this new beginning for so long, but because you finally get on that boat and break those chains from the toxic situation, it's like, boom, here it is. The person, I'm putting, see where I put it? I never know where I'm going to put them. The person, the decision was made to stop living in denial over this person that didn't communicate. To stop lying to yourself about this truth. The decision has been made to Accept the truth. And this person could not communicate until you broke free. There was a lack of communication from this person coming in until you broke free. Universe works in mysterious ways. The universe, which is the tower and the world card, they know. They know when you've released. Therefore, that's why this, there was blocked communication from this new love because you hadn't released yet. But now the decision has been made. You have evolved, transformed, and you've transitioned to a new spot. And now your justice is about to be served with a new offer of love. From somebody that does have good intentions and this person has been waiting for the right moment. So you're going to receive a welcome message of emotional support or love from somebody. Mm -hmm. And you're going <laughs> to probably feel a little overwhelmed with this. You may feel like, <laughs> wow. I'm not sure that I dare to engage, to give up my power to love.
you know, because when you have all this, and they see that here's the new opportunity, when you have all this guilt over what happened, it's hard to take steps in a new direction, it is. But I'm here to tell you that whoever is making this offer is genuine, and they do have good intentions, and they have real love to offer. They're ready for love. Whoever is coming in is ready for love. And they are making an offer that is very genuine. But I feel like you may feel like you don't you don't dare. You don't dare to take the step because of the hurt. The hurt that you just let go of. There's, I mean, fives are conflict. They're change, conflict, choices. We have five, five. You're going to be conflicted by this. Yeah, you've come out of this darkness. You're seeing the light. You're feeling better even though you're still a little... You know, it's hard to swallow your pride. But she has... She's at, you have swallowed your pride. Somebody's coming to help. Somebody's coming to help. They're coming to help you um, begin again. There's an opportunity for it. A new beginning here if you can allow somebody to help you. If you can trust. Yeah, you're afraid. Two of Wands. Yeah, somebody is afraid to get engaged. You know, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the unknown. I'm afraid to... Start this new path. I'm, I'm afraid of love. I am afraid of love. But I want it. Because see, now I only got one cup. I want it. You're looking at it. It's, it, it's, it's, you want it. But there's fear. Fear of change. This is, may feel like it's happened too quickly. I've just barely moved on. I've just barely released. So you may feel like a little uneasy with this offer because it's, it's come. It's, I'll, it was blocked for so long. You blocked it. You know, you were stuck on something. Whatever. It's been blocked. All of a sudden you release. You're feeling good. You're bringing balance back to your life. You're making good decisions the whole nine yards. And then you get this offer of love that is genuine, but you're scared of it. That's what it looks like to me. Now, this offer of love could come from anybody. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra. We have Sagittarius. We have uh, Capricorn. Could be anybody. Either way. Don't let your past hurts hinder your progress in love because you have an opportunity for a partnership here. You're about to get the justice you deserve for breaking the chain with the demon that kept you stuck and didn't appreciate you. So for those women that have made the decision, and I'm serious, made the decision to break that chain with the devil reversed, you are receiving a new offer of love. There's no doubt about it. Okay. From somebody that does have good intentions, that will help to bring balance to back to your life, that will help you and not... It will not be a one-sided situation. This person is going to put in equal effort. And it's because you swallowed your pride and moved away from... an illusion, a fantasy... You made the right decision. Don't second guess yourself. You have a new offer coming in that is genuine and real and full of emotional support. Full. You may feel like this is too good to be true. You may feel like this is overwhelming, but it's what you deserve.
You were dealing with a liar. You were dealing with a liar. And it looks like you made the decision to accept the truth as much as it hurts. For the women, for the women, what do they need to know? Accept the offer. Accept the offer. I don't know where that came from. I don't even like saying those words. Oh my God. Accept the offer. Accept the offer. Accept the offer. The, the man that you were holding on to, uh, his ego is not in check. If you watch the other reading by the looks of things, I mean, I'm sorry, you know, to you men watching this, but, you know. If we have a man that can't swallow his pride and he forces you to do it, is that the kind of man you want? Takes two to bring balance to a relationship. And you deserve a partner that puts in equal effort and stays through the good and the bad, not just the good. And I think there's a man that ran to another woman. You know, perhaps for codependent reasons. And that's not love. That's not love. You're about to get the justice you deserve for breaking the chains from this player who ran into the arms of another person. Now you have another option, another opportunity. Take it. Yep. Through gratitude, joy expands. Grace and gratitude. Grace and gratitude. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you. It's simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Thankfulness is modern-day alchemy. It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. The secret to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gratitude to flow through you at every juncture. No matter what twists and turns there are in the road, whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable, whether you are confident or unsure, no matter what you are experiencing, even if your challenges seem insurmountable, Feeling grateful will ease any challenge, replace darkness with light, and allow you to hear the chorus of the angels. Your entire life can transform when you take time to fully, deeply, and profoundly allow the grace and gratitude to fill you. So we have a woman here that is moving in a new direction. She has transformed and she has a new beginning here with somebody that is going to put in equal effort. And it's because she found her strength to face her demons and release a toxic situation and swallow her pride. You'd think, I mean, if you think about male work versus female, and this is my own opinion, Right here. It's what the male should be doing. <laughs> right? They're the masculine. They're the, supposed to be the dominant ones. They're the ones that are supposed to swallow their pride. Unfortunately, in this day and age, they just can't do it. And that's why women are, are coming up in power. Because women have, are having more strength than men these days. <laughs> anyway so you have a new offer you earned it don't look back 